back to our chart of the intelligent enterprise. There's a reason why the cloud platform is in the center. Everything, what we do now, how we connect applications, how we connect other applications, how we present services we have in the system for the use in applications or in Leonardo or outside the SAP, will go through the SAP cloud platform. An objective is not only that we connect everything with everything else, but also that we can develop enhancements to products without touching the products. We have to reduce the maintenance effort. Everybody I talk to here, number one topic is, yes, we understand strategy. It's not so clear how do we get there. We have these modifications. Yes, we did them. Yes, it was probably uh, not the right strategy in every single case. But we have them, and we have to get rid of them. First of all, probably the new functionality offered in the intelligent enterprise will cover some of the areas you have developed in the last 20 years as extensions, changing the source code of systems. We don't want to do this in the cloud in the future. We don't even allow it. Extensions have to be built as no touch components sitting in the cloud platform and being attached to the applications via interfaces. So we have a clear understanding what the modifications are, how they interact, and how we have to test them when we do an upgrade of one of the products. And many other things are being done in the cloud platform, and therefore, I want to invite Björn Gorke. Björn Gorke is the CTO of SAP, and uh, one of his main tasks is to be the lead in the development of the SAP cloud platform. I was very surprised, while Björn is obviously walking from somewhere. I, there he is. Hi, Björn. Hi, Arthur. I was very surprised when I talked to him um, about the cloud platform and sort of, I hear that there are so many versions and so you will talk about this in a second. And then he rattled down the installation numbers we already have and you have seen them yesterday, Bond uh, presented them to you already. Um, it is amazing the adoption rate, it is amazing the transactions which are already flowing this, this is it's actually mind-boggling. Um, so that changed my perception. I thought this is still work in progress. No, this is working. Really? This is working and progressing every day. Bjorn, Bjorn, tell us what else. Yeah, let me let me tell. Doing? Thank you, thank you, Hasso. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, really excited to be here and share with you a little bit about what is the role of SAP Cloud Platform in the intelligent suite. How does that fit into the intelligent enterprise? And we heard from Hasso earlier, what is intelligence? What's the definition? It's about taking past experience, learn from it, turn it into knowledge, and apply it to new problems. That's intelligence. For businesses, it's also about speed and precision and how you apply it. That gives you the competitive edge. That reduces your cycle times and makes you deliver better towards customer experience. But it's not just about the speed of execution. It's also about the speed at which you can apply change to changing market conditions, to changing customer behavior and demands. And that's, in the end, what gives your business business agility. And if your business requires you to remain innovative and differentiating, then there's only one answer, and that's the SAP Cloud Platform. And I will tell you why I'm so bullish about that. And here's my five-finger pitch. First of all, SAP Cloud Platform is the best extension platform for any SAP application, whether it's on-premise or in the cloud. We've all learned the hard way 
what it means to over-customize systems, and Hasso talk just, just talked about it. We've all learned what it means to over-customize ERP systems and how that has slowed down your ability to keep up with the speed of innovation that we were delivering and the market was bringing to life. And we want to be smarter about this and more intelligent about this in the future. So let's do as much extensions to your applications in a side-by-side -side fashion outside the core system. Let's keep the core clean so that you can keep innovating with us and bring those specific extensions to the outside world. That's number one. Number two, we have the most holistic integration platform as part of SAP Cloud Platform because business processes don't only run within a single line of business solution. They, of course, run across a set of those solutions. If you talk about lead to cash, if you talk about holistic workforce management, if you talk procure to pay, if you talk about how you connect your front office with your back office, this is all going across. If you talk about SAP to SAP integration, if you talk about SAP to third party integration, this is how you run your business. And as you apply intelligence to those business processes, it becomes even more important to take larger context into consideration and have an integrated view across all the assets that you deploy in your environment. And this is why we push and focus so much on SAP Cloud Platform integration services as the one, the single simple integration solution for all SAP to SAP and SAP to third party integration purposes. And within, and that's what Hustle related to, only two years we have gained over 5,000 customers using that solution already today. Third, it's a powerful built platform. What is built? If we think about scenarios which are not just an extension to a SAP solution, a process extension here or there, but if this is an innovative or differentiating solution that you built somewhere specifically for your business needs, and you may connect it back into an SAP-driven backend process, that's what we call a build case. I'll give you an example. We have a customer who has built a airplane fueling application on mobile devices, which replaced a paper-driven process, and connected that back into S4 HANA for fulfillment purposes. That's a build case. That's where SAP Cloud Platform and Leonardo services like machine learning like analytics, like big data, like IoT, come together to build powerful new solutions. Number four, it's a unique experience platform. As processes turn into intelligent ones, the way how end users interact with systems is going to fundamentally change. The process triggers human interaction in the future. Systems alert you to exception, exceptional situations uh, in your, for example, supply chain. Applications make recommendations on how to best act on certain situations. So the way how people interact, your customers or your end users, your workforce, with your particular systems is fundamentally going to change. Machine learning, conversational UIs, uh, chatbots, uh, we all know those new technologies, um, how you do planning, predictive, and uh, analytics capabilities in a, in a holistic solution, how you bring all of those things together is changing the way how you work with system. It's an ERP you can talk to. It's a CRM that you can listen to. That's how things are going to change. And number five is it's an agile platform. And what I mean by that is that's the place where speed meets scale. It's where experimentation meets productization. It's where your millennial software developer actually meets your chief security officer, your chief data protection officer, and your chief compliance officer. That's where proof of concept meets production robustness. In the end, that's where cool hangs out with enterprise. That's where the cool shit happens. Did I really say that? OK. So this is, this is the SAP Cloud Platform for you. But it has also fundamentally changed how we deliver innovations at SAP. And you know the old times where we had long release cycles, and you had even longer adoption cycles. With SAP Cloud Platform and the services we have there, we are, in the meantime, delivering full releases every two weeks 
in a zero downtime fashion into our 40 public cloud SAP cloud platform landscapes. We have several hundred updates every year that we provide without causing any downtimes. That's the speed at which we can bring innovation to you in an ongoing fashion. One, one question. Uh, why, why do we have or call it a multi-cloud? Yeah, we have, let me, let me talk, that's one of the, thank you, Hasso, that's a good pointer. One of the things that we, uh, that we uh, talked about is our multi-cloud strategy. We have a number of announcements to make. I'll, I'll just go quickly through them. Uh, we can't share everything here. Um, as we say, we're delivering on an ongoing basis, so sometimes it's hard to say what are the releases that we really turn out, because a lot of things have already been made available or shipped over the course of the last weeks and months. But the one big thing that we announced earlier this year is the fact that we now have a new commercial model around the SAP Cloud Platform. We call it the Cloud Platform Enterprise Agreement. And that is now, the good thing is, actually we provide you with a means from a commercial perspective to meet, in, on your side, from a consumption and a commercial perspective, the speed at which we can actually deliver new functionality, and that's massive. What does it mean? Under a single contract, a single commercial contract, you can start using any of the capabilities of the SAP Cloud Platform uh, as you like. So it's uh, uh, based on consumption. Any service we have today or that we're going to deliver in the future can basically be consumed under a single contract. That gives you the flexibility to use those services that you need the most or that you identify in your agile processes based on what is available in the platform. It's all done on a consumption-based uh, pricing and uh, it gives you now the flexibility to consume the platform as we deliver it as well. So there's no going back to your account executive to renegotiate commercials. It's just going into the SAP Cloud Platform cockpit and switching the capability on or off within a second. Second thing, we've been working immensely over the past months with our ecosystem. And you might remember that last year here at Sapphire, we announced a great partnership with Google. And I'm super happy about the past 12 months and how we've been working together with Google. And one of the outcomes I want to announce today is that we're absolutely pleased and happy to announce that SAP Cloud Platform is now generally available on Google Cloud Platform. And that's a big achievement for this partnership from the Google side. Thank you. But Hasso, coming to your statement about the multi-cloud strategy, yes, we do have a very unique, uh, absolutely unique strategy around providing SAP Cloud Platform on all of the big hyperscale cloud providers on the market. This gives you flexibility, that gives you choice on where to co-deploy SAP-related workloads to other deployments that you might have on any of those providers. And as part of that activity, I'm also very pleased to announce that in our partnership with Microsoft, we're also releasing SAP Cloud Platform in general availability on Microsoft Azure. Thank you. But we're not content only by public cloud provisioning. So we're also announcing today our intent to provide SAP Cloud Platform Private Edition together with IBM in the course of the year. Um, and that will give you a subset of Cloud Platform as a private deployment, which isn't particularly interesting to regulated industries. So we're working on that one. Happy to work with IBM going forward in that direction. Now, partners are super important to us if we talk about platform and bringing intelligence to you and your particular industry. And uh, we have teamed up with Deloitte, um, and uh, they will deliver new use cases, uh, new integrated application solutions and application extensions exclusively on SAP Cloud Platform as part of the Deloitte Reimagine program. A few more. A few more uh, announcements we have also coming out of the Google um, partnership work of the past year um, is we've been working with, uh, with um, um, Google uh, on providing and completing our mobile Fiori experience, cl um, native cloud experience uh, for mobile uh, applications. Uh, and many of you might know our uh, SAP Cloud Platform SDK for iOS. And we're now happy to announce that we have matched this uh, uh, iOS uh, SDK with a similar and uh, uh, complementary um, SDK software development kit for uh, Google Android applications. So we're now completing our mobile offering with that one. 
Last but not least, one, one final thing I want to mention. We talked about integration and how we can integrate um, uh, with our integration services SAP to SAP, but we're also putting a lot of effort into SAP to third-party integration. And we're very happy to announce uh, what we call SAP Cloud Platform Open Connectors in partnership with Cloud Elements, which adds 180 third-party connectors to our integration capabilities, uh, connecting into basically all the leading, all the market available third-party applications in the cloud and on-premise, completing the capabilities of integration services to be the one-stop one shop for your integration needs around anything SAP and third-party. That's just the highlight of a few things that have been happening. Thanks, 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 Thank you. John. Thank you, Hasso. I could continue. And yeah, I, talk, yeah, I know. There's my best run theater session. Thank you, Hasso. Thank you. He, he does 20 minutes uh, in the best run theater.